there, it's Carrie from The Lifehack Method. I'm very excited to do a tutorial video on how to use the Loom screencasting software today. In the past, years ago, Loom was actually kind of annoying to use and so we didn't recommend it to our clients. But now, it's risen to the top of our list in terms of ease of use, enjoyment of use, and just overall utility for a screencasting software. It definitely checks all the boxes that we're looking for in a screencasting software. Now, just to back up for a second, what is screencasting? A screencast is a massive time saver because it eliminates the need to type out lengthy emails and have most meetings. It also drastically increases the likelihood that you'll be able to communicate complicated, sensitive, or nuanced information to other people. So especially if you find yourself spending a lot of time emailing in meetings or collaborating with others, you will find screencasting incredibly useful. Personally, I do about three screencasts a day and everyone I share them with is consistently wowed. Here's a quick demo of it so you can see in real time just how easy this tool is to use. And then I'm gonna explain in detail how to do everything. So I'm gonna start the screencast by clicking on the Loom icon on my computer. Then I'm gonna hit start recording. So it's gonna record whatever's on my screen and optionally my face if I want it to. Then I can talk, I can explain whatever I need to explain, I can show anything that's on my computer screen so that the viewer can visually understand what I'm talking about. And when I'm done, I hit the stop button. I'm immediately and automatically brought to this video page where I can click this little link icon to then copy the link to this video to my clipboard. I can rename the video and I can do various other things to the video here. Then I can paste that link wherever I want. I can send it in an email. I can put it in an Asana task. I could put it in a text message, wherever you want. And whoever opens that link will be able to see your video. Plus, you'll be notified when someone watches your video so that you'll know if they saw it or not. Now, I love Loom because it does all that uploading and storage of the videos for you. It just makes it so, so simple and fast and seamless to screencast. So let's get into the details of how to start using Loom. First, I wanna explain how to download it. Just getting started, just getting it downloaded is the hardest part, so please follow along with me and get it downloaded right away. There's a desktop version of it, which I use and I highly recommend, and there is also a Google Chrome extension that you can use too, if you have Google Chrome. There's even a phone app for it too, although I haven't found it as useful as the computer app because I do the vast majority of my work on my computer. Trust me, you're gonna be using this all the time, so go ahead and download it to the desktop. You can go to loom.com forward slash download to get it downloaded. And then follow the instructions on your screen to get it downloaded. When you're done, you can access it by searching your computer for it, or in my case, on my Mac, you'll see a nifty little icon that looks kind of like a starburst at the top of your screen. Next, I wanna show you what options you have for recording your screen. You can record your full screen with everything on it, or just a specific part of your screen, or even just one particular application on your screen. So those are settings you can toggle on and off before you start recording. And you can choose whether to show your camera too of your face or keep it off and you can drag your little camera icon wherever you want on the screen. I wanna highlight a couple special features that Loom has that can be super useful. One is that you can change the name of your video before sending it to other people. And I mentioned this before, but it's seriously so easy and helpful. It helps with searchability if you need to find that particular video later. In fact, with some of their AI features, a video title is sometimes suggested automatically and a video summary created afterwards too. The next is that all your videos are stored in this helpful library. So that way you can easily find and access older videos. You can also trim and edit your videos. So if you've got a rough start or you wanna cut the end off your video or even in the middle of your video, you can do so using their editor. And you can actually restrict access to your videos. So if you have privacy concerns, you can change the sharing settings similar to how it works on Google Drive files. What's super cool is that you can even make the video password protected. In terms of pricing, 
Loom has a freemium model at the moment, meaning you can access it for free, but the free version has some limitations. So the free version limits you to five minute videos. In a way, this is good because it forces you to get to the point. Plus, you could also just record part one, part two, part three, and stay under that five minute limit forever. But the free version also limits you to 50 videos. Now I found that I reached that limit pretty quickly. And while I could have gone back and deleted some old videos I no longer needed, I was willing to pay up for the hassle of not having to do that. So if you're willing to pay just a few bucks per month, you can unlock the paid version, which gets you unlimited videos of unlimited length. Pretty sweet. It's nice to know that you'll only be forced to upgrade if this is a truly useful tool that you find yourself using a lot. And if it isn't, you can stay on the free plan forever. All right, so now you are a Loom power user. There are a ton of other cool Loom features, but these are the ones I find myself using 99.9% .9 of the time, and it's more than enough to get started. Enjoy.